In the news tonight, opposition calls for urgent and comprehensive electoral reform, says tinkering will not work. In-depth involvement of experts on electoral laws, electoral systems, elections technologies, and election management. We anticipate no difficulty in recruiting such expertise. Anne Rowley arrives for inaugural regional agri-investment forum and expo. Comprehensive electoral reform must rest on four pillars, says the opposition AP and UFC. Member of Parliament Gita Chandon Edmund says the coalition intends to formally raise with President Afonali the fact that the country needs to urgently undertake comprehensive electoral reform within a genuine national consultation process. She was speaking at the PNCR's weekly press conference. The first being a thorough review by GCOM of its performance in managing recent election. The plethora of faults and irregularities intended and un unintended in the 2020 elections alone must not be brushed under the carpet to resurface again. They must be swept out for good. To achieve this, a thorough and honest review must be conducted as necessary. And we are advocating that this is the first step. Here we agree with GCOM Commissioner Vincent Alexander that GCOM itself must not conduct such a review, but should be the one to commission it. Secondly, national consultations involving the public, civil society, and the parliamentary political parties. These must be modeled after the 1999-2000 uh, Constitution Reform Commission process. In particular, key elements must include a multi-stakeholder expert committee, a consensus chairperson, a public call for oral and written submissions, and several national conversations, and these must all be open forums. Thirdly, the in-depth involvement of experts on electoral laws, electoral systems, elections technologies, and election management. We anticipate no difficulty in recruiting such expertise, given the in international support for electoral reform in Guyana. Fourthly, holistic constitutional and legislative amendments or enactments. The opposition anticipates that electoral reform will require both constitutional and statutory requirements to the statutory amendments. We stand ready to lend parliamentary support to all agreed to changes. And this is something that I feel very passionately about, so I'm going to restate this uh, statement. We stand ready to lend parliamentary support to all agreed to changes. Time is of the essence in initiating and completing these reforms to prevent extended postponement of local government elections. Once the PPP government demonstrates good faith, the financial, human, and other resources can easily be mobilized. Once all parties, once all of us, every single one of us, we decide to put Guyana first, delays will be minimized because Guyana deserves no less. She noted that her party will not support the autocratic imposition of changes to our electoral system. Laughter is the best medicine to relieve some of your stress. Cigars and Cognac, Eco Bar and Launch presents Comedy Tuesdays. This and every Tuesday featuring Chow Pao, Mark Edwards and others. If that's not enough, come sing your heart's content at our Karaoke Wednesdays. Every Wednesday is a song-filled Wednesday with lots of prizes to be won. Or enjoy our Cocktail Thursdays, the Cigars and Cognac way with over a dozen mixtures to choose from. Buy one cocktail and get the other one free with entertainment provided by Gully Rast.
Don't waste another Friday night. Kickstart your weekend at Cigars and Cognac. Champagne City. Bottle special all night on Moet and Bel Air Rosé. As top DJs entertain the house to keep the vibes pumping as the champagne flows. This and every Friday, Champagne City. Come enjoy the vibes at your favorite entertainment spot. Laugh, have a beer, enjoy mouth watering cutters at Cigars and Cognac. For reservations, call 678 4792. The next time you're looking for premium packaging, check out Full Works Packaging Products at 151 Regent Road Border. Telephone number is 233-2818 or their mobile on 639-6466. We supply all types of boxes, plates, cups, empty bottles for the supply of juices and coconut water. Full Works Packaging Products. By Guyana, we build Guyana. Trinidad and Tobago's Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley arrived in Ghana today ahead of Thursday's inaugural regional agri-investment forum and expo to be held at the Ontachong Conference Center, Leliandal. Rowley and team were welcomed at the Eugene F. Karaya International Airport by Prime Minister Mark Phillips along with Minister of Natural Resources Vikram Bharat. This afternoon, President Efan Ali met with Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley and his delegation. President Ali was joined by Senior Minister within the Office of the President with Responsibility for Finance, Dr. Ashni Singh, Minister of Agriculture, Zulfikar Mustafa, and other Cabinet Ministers. Prime Minister Rowley and members of his government are in Ghana on a five-day visit to attend the Agri-Investment Forum and Expo, which will be held on May 19th to 21st at the Otto Chung Conference Center. Washi. Hi, people. Washing made so easy since I found Washi. Washi me use wash me clothes and I can say. Wash is so powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash is so powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash is so powder, leave me clothes smelling nice, of course. So give thanks to Wash is so powder for doing my laundry in right. Keep my clothes color bright. Have me clothes smelling nice for sure. I could not ask for more. Comes in lemon and original. It is a washing machine in a pack. Wash is so powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash is so powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash is so powder, have my clothes smelling nice, of course. Distributors located in the Starbrook market. Planning an elegant or corporate event? Let the experts at Star Rentals equip you. Give your event that spectacular five-star experience it deserves with the options of transparent tents of various sizes, indoor and outdoor formal bars and cocktail tables with LED lights, stage, podium with lighting, portable AC units, generators, executive portable washrooms, outdoor light tower, and much more. Call today, 226-3020, online, www.starrentalsgy.com. Star Rentals, we got you covered. Months after five unknown origin destroyed the police force's Office of Professional Responsibility, an office dealing with construction, the findings are still to be made public. Quiz on the matter, Acting Fire Chief Gregory Wickham said the Ghana Fire Service will release the findings. Been months now. Yes, well, I'm certain the investigation was completed, but the information as it relates to the cause of that fire, I am not in a position to relate that at this moment. Why not? Just because procedures that follow. But it's been several months now you have given the results of several other investigations. Why this particular fire, uh, the fire service appears to be uh, on the back foot with releasing information on it? 
I wouldn't want to say that we're on the back foot, and particularly because of this fire, the fire that you're referring to. But there are procedures that need to be followed. Investigative work are uh, always, uh, sometimes the investigators come up with the cause of the fire very early, and then there are other times when there are uh, systems that need to be followed. It may take a little longer to come up with the cause of the fire. As so follow. generally there's no time limit or time span given as to when the cause of a fire should be established. But that is unusually long. Why? It may appear so to members of the public, there but there is a... completed and handed over. Have you been prevented from releasing the findings of the report? No way. The cause of the fire will be released by the fire department because the fire department is the sole authority in Guyana by law to find cause of fires. And so there will be no issue as to releasing that information when the time is available. Thank you. And the report and everything would have stated the cause of the fire and what's not, what's not. That, that fire that my colleague is referring to. And like I said just now, when that process has been completed, fire service will release the information. The OPR investigates allegations of police negligence and misconduct, among others. For these and other stories, do visit us at our website www.rdproduction.gy.com.